Hello folks, welcome back to Waygate Technologies. Dan here for the Kraut Kramer Ultrasonic Instrument Line. Today I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of updating software on our Go Plus platform. This will work with the USM Go, the DMS Go, the CL Go, or the combination instruments. As you see here, my instrument is a combination of all three. Um, this is information uh, specific to the Go Plus with the five-way switch pad, the software for the original joystick Go units. So if your unit has a joystick like this, uh, the more yellow uh, front frame, you won't be able to get the software updates for these from inspection works, uh, like I will show you for the Go Plus. You'll need to contact remote service at bakerhughes.com and we can still get you software updates for the joystick goes, but we don't publish those on inspection works. We keep that just for the Go Plus instruments. Now to see what software is already installed on your instrument, we'll turn the turn to Go Plus on here. And as it boots up, because mine is a combo instrument, the first menu that you will see will offer to boot into USM Go, DMS Go, or CL Go. If you have an instrument that is just one of those three models, this page will be skipped and it will uh, boot directly into whichever of the modes is selected. Uh, if I don't respond uh, quickly enough, it will bypass that screen and boot into whatever the last mode was uh, where it was used. And I was last using this in DMS mode so that's where it booted. Um, you notice as the, the boot screen went by, uh, the about screen was shown that gave the, the current version. I can see that anytime I like by navigating to the config menu, about, go right on there, and there's the, the about screen. Um, instrument model shows me the main code version. In this case, I have 3.32. 0.02. Uh, there's some more information and then down towards the bottom uh, the options that are installed. So I have a fully featured instrument. I have top code, auto V, the extended data recorder, all of that. And the instrument serial number is shown on this screen as well. And that's very important if you ever go to purchase additional options for your instrument you'll need that serial number. And we must have the exact serial number in order to generate the options correctly. This time I'll boot it into USM Go mode. We'll go to the flaw detector. You'll see the splash screen briefly as it powers up. And to get to the about screen on the flaw detector side, do a long hold on the center stick to go to the back menus. Go across to the Config 2 menu, then up to About, Center Stick, Hold, and it gives you the About screen, and that's how you see it on the, on the flaw detector side. Again, software version, instrument serial number, and the installed options. And a quick pop to make that go away, and a long hold to go back to uh, our regular operation mode. When it comes time to update the firmware, uh, the first question is, where do I go to get the firmware? Well, we have recently moved software firmware updates to our inspection work site. If we open an internet browser, in this case, I'm using Google Chrome, I go to www.inspection works.com and I go here frequently so it auto uh, completes for me again www.inspectionworks.com I'll put a link down in the comments and this is the landing page for inspection works now if I go to products and select inspection works store you do not have to log into inspection works you do not have to have an inspection works account in order to get the software updates and things for the the Go platform. So we select Inspection Works Store. And here we have a wealth of information on many different products. 
we're going to use the all products selector and we can pick either USM Go or DMS Go or CrowdKramer CL Go. On the Go platform, the Go Plus platform, there's one common piece of software for all of the different models. So the software is exactly the same for USM Go, for DMS Go, and for CL Go. Um, so you can select any of the above. In this case, I'm going to select DMS Go. And you'll see software, applications, documents. So all of the manuals are here in many different languages. There is the operating software for the instrument in core languages and in extended languages. One language in particular that's part of the other languages pack is Portuguese. So for our friends in, uh, in Brazil, Portugal, uh, other countries where Portuguese is commonly spoken, um, you might be interested in the other language pack. In this case, we are going to select the core languages. We have the most recent version here. I'm going to select the download button. Now I have a choice of two ways to download this. One is uh, as a package, this gives us a zip file. I usually choose the individual file download and that gives us the software.stu file. That's a software update file for a Go Plus platform. So if I download that, that gives me an SDU file in my downloads. So now I can go to my computer, downloads. There's the SDU file. I'm going to copy that. I have a, an SD card in my computer. Now that I have the, the update file on my SD card, I'm going to insert the SD card into the card slot. And I'm going to hold down this button and this button. I'm going to keep those held down and I'm going to turn the instrument on. So I need to hold those two buttons down, press the on switch, and once I press the on switch and I hear the relay click inside, I can let go, but I'm going to continue to hold those two keys until I see the updater come on screen and begin to run. So it's going to go through first the process of loading and checking the file, and then it will start burning that the contents of that file to memory. We've completed loading the file. Now it's going through and verifying. Okay, we're almost done verifying. Their verifying has completed and now it is programming the software update to internal memory. Again, this will take another two to three minutes. And as soon as it's finished, the instrument will turn off. The update is nearly finished. And as we wrap up, it will say programming complete and then the instrument will turn off. Now, the first time we start the instrument after uh, a software update, it's a good idea to do a hard reset of the instrument. Um, it is required with the, the latest update that added the CL Go Plus uh, feature or functionality to the instrument. Um, it's not always necessary, but it's generally a good idea. In order to do the hard reset, we're going to use a, a function key hold out here. We're going to start with the instrument turned off. We're going to press and hold these outer two ends of the function keys while turning the instrument on. And you can let go of the power button again as soon as you hear it click, but continue to hold the buttons. And once you get to this screen, you can let go. And now it's ready to boot into our choice of operating modes again. So that's how we go about updating the firmware on a USM Go, a DMS Go, a CL Go Plus. Again, if you need to update uh, firmware on an original 
uh, go with the, the joystick rather than the five-way switch pad, please reach out to us at remote service at bakerhughes.com. Let us know and we will email you the update files for those older units. We covered how to find the software on InspectionWorks, download it, put it on the SD card, run the update on the instrument, and then do a hard reset. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to remote service at bakerhughes.com and we will be happy to help you out. Thank you for joining me.